Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. New moon eclipses SDO this morning. You'll see that in a second. We've got quakes, launches, spirals, magnetic biology, and a throwback to one of the biggest stories of the last three years. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were, once again, very quiet. The Starlink outage yesterday was not due to space weather. Trust me, that would be very good for my channel, and I'd mention it if it was related. Solar flaring has been low. One filament erupted off the departing limb to the right. Otherwise, it was pretty quiet and should stay that way. The sunspots are couples, but dancing wide. Not much interaction and flare potential. That small CME is still due to arrive at Earth over the weekend. It's basically the only item on deck for now. Another big quake yesterday, this one in the southern Pacific, 6.6, .6, but luckily way down near the mantle transition zone. Bet they barely felt that one up at the surface. Congratulations to the Tracers team, launched successfully from Vandenberg yesterday. Up they go to study Earth's magnetic field and space weather forcing of the atmosphere. Excellent paper out on gravitational potential of spirals. While they looked at the extreme winding that we have been long insisting exists, the key item in the paper is the existence of that gravitational potential. If you include it in the models, do you still need dark matter at the galactic level? Hmm. Solid study up next, looking at how electromagnetic fields impact the motion and velocity of crabs. They noted some impact from undersea cables, but the biggest factor by far was Earth's magnetic field. Remember, in the ongoing magnetic pole shift, no living creature on this planet can hide from the impact. Top story today is NASA's Dr. Phillips finally seeing that paper from back in June, which we covered back when it was released, describing an extreme event that took place March 23rd and 24th of 2023. It was the most extreme equatorial plasma bubble event and impact on GPS, and what we said back in June, as we've been saying for a couple years, is now almost certainly confirmed to be accurate. It's not a coincidence that the largest magnetic anomaly took place on the same day, not related to the solar storm, but allowing that solar storm to be much bigger than it should have been. Yes, folks, this was in fact the starting point for the outsized auroral outbreaks, the solar storms showing up too strongly compared to expectations, the signal that we are on the decline into the next magnetic disaster event right now. That's what my new book is all about, folks. It is the last week of pre-orders, six more days, and then if you want the book, you're going to be waiting a very long time. Link is below, and folks, we've also got a lot going on at Observer Ranch. We're pretty much full up for this weekend, but the homesteading camp next week and the tactical training the weekend after have several spots available. High priority skills and survival knowledge on deck, folks, and if you've been looking for a good time to come out to the ranch, turn of the month here is a great way to go. We've got another Pole Shift conference coming at the end of August. A lot happening this fall as well. Don't forget Dr. August Dunning is coming to Founders Weekend. If you're going to the Colorado Prepper Expo in October, why not stay with us at the ranch? Very convenient proximity. And folks, we are looking to fill the very last spot in the experience, October 17th through the 19th. It's the mental, physical, and spiritual prepping of oneself. All the plans and supplies won't matter if you get scared or break down, you have to be the strongest aspect of your prepping. This is how I did it and I've brought the program to the ranch. Special link for that below, special link for the pre-order, and of course, ObserverRanch.com. Probably worth it to click at least one of those links here today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.